get on with today's uh, farmhouse signs makeover. And we're going to be making these. Now, I put in the description of the live from little bits of wood to farmhouse signs. It is possible to make some farmhouse signs out of just little bits of wood. Now, I will say, I do have a blog post that I have done these before, and I can link to that, but I can't get to it now. I'll do that in the comments somewhere um, after the live, where you can find it on my I Restore Stuff blog, and just look up in the search bar, Farmhouse Signs, and you'll find some there that I did. Today, I'm gonna to be using, and we've got all the links for the supply list in the mm -hmm. description as well. So we're really handy dandy with all our links here at Essential Stencil. And I'm using today the Grateful, Thankful, Blessed. Who is grateful, thankful, and blessed this week? And I know so many Americans are having Thanksgiving this week and you're all gonna be so thankful for at least lots of things, I think. So let's have a go at making that. And you might just need some decor for Thanksgiving already um, because you just didn't get around to doing that. So the first thing I'm gonna do I've got some little stages set up here so that we don't have to wait for paint to dry on some of those. So we have cut these pieces and like I said, I'll have a post link up where you can get the sizes and all of that of how we did this. Uh, so we're gonna stain those. Now, if you remember last week on my live, I showed you how to create a stain using just paint. So you just water down the paint and create a stain with it. That's what we're gonna do on our wood pieces. And the other thing we're going to do is, now I've painted a base coat just in a random greyish colour on just these little pieces of plywood that I had lying around. It was actually a large piece of plywood and I cut it into three different sections. Uh, so I'm going to be using Picket Fence, which is a bright white in the Fusion Mineral Paint range. And I'm going to, and I forgot to open it first. Got to open it first because on a live you don't want to be busting paint open. The jar. Here's my trick for anybody who don't know. I can't slam it on the table, but you just slam it straight down on a hard surface. This is kind of a wobbly table. I'm going to do it on the floor. Okay, slammed it down straight on its head. Watch how easy that is now to open. Yes, you saw it here, folks. Would you do that with a glass jar? No. <laughs> Only with plastic? No. Yay! <laughs> I would not do that with a glass jar. Oh. Oh, maybe you could. Anyway, so going to be grabbing a little paintbrush here. I'm just using a Klingon brush um, and I'm going to paint. I've just done a greyish base coat on there, but you can just use, I just was saving on. So if you have a bright white and you're trying to paint your piece white, you can save on the white paint by just doing a grey undercoat of another colour. So I've used Fusions, uh, I think it was even their brand new colour, Goddess Ashwagandha. It's like an off-white, greyish colour. Just to tone down mm -hmm. the wood and give it a lot better coverage. How many people are joining the Stencil of the Month Club? Celia, do you, do you oh. get any comments about that? Are we seeing comments yet? Oh, lots. Lots of people have joined. Some have got theirs in the mail. There's Ooh. questions about... Um, can you only join for one month? How do you join? Blah, blah, blah. But I All know that essential online. stencils will get the answers to you. They sure will. And the answers are probably on the actual link of the website. If you have a mm -hmm. look at the club, you can read through all of the details and all of the different ways you can subscribe on there, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I think they've done a really good job of laying it all out for, to make it really clear yeah. all the different things you get, which is really amazing. And Wendy has done your jar slamming on the floor trick with she a pickle has. jar. Oh, so that would be in glass, right, Wendy? Yeah. I'm pretty assuming that's going to be a glass one. And she didn't pickle her pickles with it. Oh, the breeze is blowing nice. in the workshop. That's nice. It's very hot yeah. in Australia. I just looked up what the temperature is in um, Fahrenheit because we speak in Celsius over here and it's 38 Celsius, which I think is like 80 to 85 or something over there. Is it? I thought it would be 90. Okay. I know, it feels like it. Okay, so I've just done one coat on there. I probably would do a second coat of that picket fence on top of that one. So I'll let that dry and come back to that later. Let me just pop that So many side. people have joined Stencil of the Month and are getting their stencils and are excited. Oh, that's really awesome. Really great okay, responses. I'm just gonna put a, what do you, uh, just a little tip here. Dun, dun. 
I save my plastic bags and use them for when I know I'm going to do a second coat of a piece of furniture. That's what I mainly do, by the way. I restore furniture and paint it up beautiful again. But if I'm doing a second coat of something later, like I'm going to be doing a second coat on this board here, I'll pop my brush into a plastic bag or just wrap a bit of cling film around it and just set it aside and then it won't dry out. These. I think I'm going to these now remember last week, if you were here, if you can't, do, do you've got all the lines right on the Central Stimulus Facebook page. We're both wrong. 38 degrees Celsius is 100 Fahrenheit. What? 38. Yep. So it is it says 38, isn't Heather. It? Yeah, that's what it's been. If we're connecting any better now, I'm so sorry that we had to disconnect the live. Well, it, it kind of disconnected on us. So I'm um, just going to refresh the page here again. Make sure that we're live properly. It's looking good. Because we were part through, part way through a really cool uh, project. Yeah. And I hate it when you welcome back. Anyway, so I was up to, don't know where you got to, don't know where I got to, but we were staining just the little pieces of wood for the outside of our farmhouse signs here. And we have also painted our board in the picket fence colour, which is a bright white colour. And that's almost dry, ready for a second coat. So I've done about a couple of coats of that, just however full you want to see your um, colour. So you want it really really white or if you just want a rustic kind of white all right so what I'm going to do is set these aside what you can do uh, to those which I'll do with my next lot let those dry <clears throat> and here's another lot that I prepared earlier because I've done three signs because if you've just joined us again we are working on the essential stencil farmhouse set called grateful thankful blessed that's the set that you get three words for three signs or you could put them in on furniture i've um i can also imagine these on a set of three bedside drawers can you see that like mm -hmm. grateful thankful blessed on a set of drawers um you know what i've been doing lately and if you go on my page i think i posted a picture or i will soon mm -hmm. of um a, well i've done it before anyway a couple of furniture sets or a draw set draw sets and I've post I've popped a little stencil on the side of the drawers so mm. stencils on the side of drawers that's a fun little mm -hmm. pop of interest for someone to look at okay so for this second one I've done my pieces here and what I'm going to do actually to the <clears throat> before I start my stencil what I'm going to do to these wood pieces because I've just used the paint as a stain and I've watered it right down it doesn't have a sealer on top of it so I'm going to seal those right now before I put it all together and before I do my stencil sign with uh, Fusion's Tough Coat Sealer and that's just a Wipon Poly you need a rag um, I'll just use a rag actually yep. and um, what boards do you need to which boards? Yep. Oh, these boards here? Yep, they want to know. These what are just it is. plywood. Do you call it plywood in America? They're just offcuts and they actually were all one big sheet. We just divided them into three and I happened to notice that, wow, they look the same size as our stencils. So they make perfect farmhouse signs. So if you have offcuts of plywood, I would probably go a little bit thicker than this rather than the really thin kind. But because of the way we're doing this, it really does work for this project. So, to put on our wipe-on poly, all I'm going you could use a brush if you wanted to, but today I'm just going to use a cloth. Just make sure it's a lint-free cloth. This is just a cut-up t-shirt fabric. So it's not gonna have any lint on it. And I hope the connection's a lot better now, guys. I'm so sorry that we chopped off half the live earlier. And then of course, you've got to put the description back in and everything. All right, so we're making farmhouse signs and we did talk about the stencil of the month club, which is going to be loads of fun. Um, when you join the stencil of the month club, you actually get into a, a smaller Facebook group of just the club members and you can get shown by the different ambassadors, different ways of making your stencils each month. So three different things. Do we have any questions that you might have missed because of our 
mm. live um, technical difficulties. Um, somebody's missed what you're rubbing on. I'm rubbing on Fusion's Tough Coat Sealer. It also is Miss Mustard Seeds Tough Coat Sealer. They are the same mm -hmm. parent company that create, makes them both. So uh, it's a wipe on poly. So I'm just sealing it because I've watered down some fusion paint, which has a built-in top coat, but when you're watering it down, you kind of lose a bit of that sealing ability. So I'm just sealing those there mm -hmm. before we go on to our next step. And, and guys, don't forget that you can win essential stencils. Yes, we are giving away prizes today. Three lucky winners will receive an essential stencil that they will send out to you at random. But we'll get to pick the winners, so well, Celia will. She's got that wonderful job. Yay! Thank you. And um, yes, yeah, so using the top coat sealer. And at the end, I will be showing you an exclusive look at the November Stencil of the Month Club stencil. And to let you know again that um, you can join today and you can get that November stencil, but today's the last day to get the November one set. It's a set, it's not just one stencil, guys. Good value, mm -hmm. you saw the last slide. Oh, I feel so disjointed now, having yes. a little technical difficulty. All right, so I've sealed those, they're good to go. <clears throat> all the supplies are in the supply list, which is in the link in the description. I'm gonna paint all over my hands. That's right. And now we're gonna use our stencil. And so I've done blessed. I need to make sure I use different ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Miss Mustard Seed branded one, but this Fusion also has a mm -hmm. top coat sealer as well. So they're both the same product. <clears throat> and Thankful. the top coat does not make the Fusion paint bleed, does it? No, not it's a, and it, it doesn't make it yellow either. The top coat is a non-yellowing, so you can mm -hmm. um, put that top coat onto this white painted surface and it won't yellow over time. I think it's mainly oil-based sealers that will create that yellowish look over time. Right, so I'm using coal black, which is a fusion colour, and I'm going to use my little stencil brush, and with my trick of tape, um, using the end, a rubber band on the end, to shorten my bristle length. I usually talk about that each time I go live, just because people will always ask me, why have you got a rubber band on the end of your stencil brush? So all I do is dip the ends of the brush in the paint, wipe off the excess of the, off the edge, and then we talk about offloading. Isn't that right? So if, you've, um, if you happened to share this live earlier, I'd love you to do that again if you know someone who, or if you're on a page or somewhere that would love to know about stenciling, feel free to do that now by just hitting that little button there. All right, thankful. I've offloaded my brush and I'm ready to go. I love to do a little swirly method. Look, I could put painter's tape on the side, but I'm just going to go for it today because it's fairly stable. So the second reason to put it there. What are you thankful for this week, guys? Are you spending Thanksgiving with family, friends? Are you in your hometown or are you out of town for Thanksgiving? I'm telling you, it's frozen again. No. Really? Are we frozen again? That's what one person says. They lost us for a minute. Uh, Guys, I have no idea what's happening. I wonder if it's looking good on here. We're having internet outages. We're still going on our end, so hopefully it's not our connection. Sometimes just check yours, but I know earlier it was definitely ours. Mm -hmm. And what kind of wood are we using for the frame? The frame is just, I don't know, I think it's pine. It's just like a pine, well, it's not a dowel, is it? Dowel's no. a round piece of wood. It's just a pine Skinny trim. I think they call it trim. There we go. And so uh, we've, we've just cut those sliced into... Sliced and diced. Yeah, cut <clears> those into two long edges, two short edges. And Celia, you measured those for me and just kind yeah. of fit them around here, didn't you? That's it wasn't right. like we kind of just penciled the line, it wasn't like making actual measurements, but you can measure yeah. out your piece and do it that way and cut them off. Celia is brilliant at hand saw. Oh, yeah. But if you have a, what do you call it? A band saw or something like that? <sighs> Table saw, band saw, something. Something like yeah. that. Okay. Okay, guys, how are we going? We're still there. 
Hopefully we're all still there. We're using, doing our thankful sign. And don't forget at the end, we're gonna be picking some winners, three winners for some mm. lovely stencils. And I still wanna show you the Stencil of the Month Club for mm. November exclusive. Mm. And because the reason we're showing you that today is because today's the last day that you can join up and get the November stencil. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you join tomorrow, you'll be in line to get the December stencils, which will ship on December the 1st. And if you use my code, mm -hmm. iRestoreStuff, you will get $5 off your first month for the Stencil of the Month Club. Mm -hmm. All right, that's looking good. Happy with that. Mention okay. the list. Do we? Yes, we've wood. got the supply list. Yeah, it's looking a bit stained on the back of that wood there. Uh, but, see, you know. just recycle something. Yeah, so with the uh, stencils, you could, if you wanted to, go in and fill in the little stencil gaps there or just leave them as is. I tend to leave them as is most of the time. I did try and do that with my blessed sign. I'm not really 100% mm. happy with the way that that um, turned out, but maybe I was in a little a bit of a rush. So we've got our thankful sign here, and so the, ne the next one we have to do is the blessed, but we don't have that painted in its second coat just yet. I'll do that so mm. quickly, because this stuff dries really quickly. Oh, hey. yeah. You missed that bit. I should have painted it. That's okay. It will oh. not take us very long at all. So guys, if you've got any questions, please make sure you pop them in the comments and let us know. <laughs> yeah. Do we have some thankful people out there today? Yes. I'm thankful for internet. I tell internet, you what, that works. where would we be in this world at the moment without the internet and just the connections that it's created? And sometimes it's a little bit annoying if we, mm. if we um, don't keep it in check. Mm. I don't know if anyone else is guilty of just spending too much time on social media rather than the things in life that matter. Relationships, friends, all of those beautiful things. We tend to think about those kind of things on this time of year, don't we? Mm. But I am thankful to be able to connect with you guys via this mm. internet system all the way over here in Australia. And yes, we have crows in the background and yeah, some parrots. Yes. And people are saying they're quite loud, whereas it's quite quite dull noise from here. Yeah, it is a bit. It's kind of backgroundy, but maybe it's they're picking a bit up squawky. Those there. Yeah. All right. I hope you can hear my voice. That's um, the instruction. Sometimes I, go, I mm -hmm. forget that I need to talk a bit louder so that you can hear me. Mm -hmm. All right. Go, I'll wash that brush out later, popping it in a plastic bag. And how do we clean the stencil? Sorry for interrupting. So you can clean the stencil in a number of ways. Mm -hmm. I often don't clean them because the paint just dries so quickly. Mm -hmm. But um, I do know of others who uh, will put their stencils just in a water bath right beside them as they're stenciling to be able to do that super quick and get that off. Uh, just with soap and water, other people use uh, Lysol wipes, which I think in mm. Australia, they're like isopropyl or alcohol wipes. Oh, like okay. Uh, baby wipes. Other people have tried baby wipes. All right. So this was a little jigsaw puzzle that I had trouble trying to figure out last night. And Celia did a great job of cutting them, but I was just putting them together all the wrong way. So what we have to do and what the way that they've been cut. Let me just mm -hmm. this out the way. And these are dry enough to just put together right now. So we joined this together. I don't know if you can probably see it on there, but then this one comes this side. So it's kind of like, is that right? <laughs> have I got it right now? Yes, I think I have. Just, I believe I have. You have. All right, we've got the puzzle go and we're working, it working it out. Yeah. What'd you say? You cut it? I actually cut them to go inside the outside, but um, the short ones to be inside. Yeah, but they That's didn't right. work that way. Funny. It must have worked oh. the other way. Yeah, mm -hmm. because now it fits. So we'll be placing that on top of there and stapling it onto the back. So I was tossing up whether to use my nail gun live on, on air because I feel like it could be a little bit unsafe. But we'll just give it a go, shall we? 
If you don't have a nail gun, a little tack gun. I have a clamp here somewhere that really helped me out to do it properly to get this standing still on its by itself. It's going to go like that. Are we still connected, guys? We Did you have are. any questions about the stencil? So I'm going to pop this here to keep it really still. Somebody said one coat of black is enough for your stenciling. Yeah, mm. it looked great with one coat. And now with the blessed, you'll be able to see that I sanded that lightly to distress it just slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in, see? No, don't do that. Oh, I thought you meant on my nail, nail gunning. Ah, uh, yeah, you no, no. I'm just zooming in on the difference between the one and that one. Okay, fingers right out of the way. Okay, quick, you wanna catch this. No, don't. I'm very scared. Can you need to come and hold things? Whoops, I think we're good. That's not where we're good to go. It does have a safety mechanism on it, guys, so it does make a big noise. Right. Bet you heard and that. And I should do two. So that's the first one. And that just helps to hold it in place. Now I've got to make sure my jigsaw puzzles are all working together. So that. It's going to go inside there. So to do this one, mm -hmm. last night I had to, I actually sat it on the floor because mm. it's my release lever. Do you need another hand? Yeah. <laughs> because to make it go, I'll sit it on the chair. Just because at the angle when you're doing a nail gun, it doesn't matter if it goes into the chair, I'll be fine. Um, with the angle, you don't want it to be up here because that's just leaving too many rooms, too much room for mistakes. Yeah. So, gotta make sure you do not want to. Awesome. You don't want to get it in the wrong place. That's for sure. Awesome nail gun. <laughs> it does make the job a lot quicker. And I don't know. I just thought we might show you some DIY here on. Essential stencils. Page. Let's do. MYO, make one. your own. That's it. I'll do this top one again. Mm -hmm. oh, they love the nail gun. <laughs> Guys, I'm really scared showing you my technique here. If you're using <clears throat> wood stain, should it be water based or does it matter with it the doesn't, stencils? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh, so we're not putting wood? the stenciling on the wood, so it really doesn't matter. Um, you can do it. Hang on, I've just got to use my concentration to focus. Focus. Bam, bam. Yeah, stain, it really doesn't matter if you use water based or the other types of stains when you're doing this because you're just making the frame. So. As long as you put water-based uh, stencil paint with water-based base back coat paint. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. Okay, so we've got that going there, that going there. Do the last one on the table. You can put oil on water, but you can't put water on oil. Is that right? Uh, yes, you can. That's mm -hmm. correct. Good. Okay, moving my hands out of the way. We did it, guys. Woo -hoo. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I can't wait to show you the little November stencils. <gasps> They're so That's a cute. Bit exciting. All right. So next, we just place this on the top here, and we've got enough room around the edge to use the staple gun. Now I've got a link for a staple gun in the supply list as well just in case you don't have one but they're really handy to um i use a battery operated one this is a bosch but you can use whatever you like the dimensions are for these things are somewhere um i will put a link to a blog post mm -hmm. guys i think i got that through the wrong way oh i hate it when that happens and that's why you need a staple remover sometimes. Uh oh, see? You get it in the wrong place. And you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's probably just not exactly enough room right on the end of this one. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're staining the actual sign piece instead of undercoating yes. it white, yeah. then. I would use a water based stain. Yep. Yeah, because it soaks into the wood and it looks nicer. Yeah. 
and oil base is stinky. Okay, I think we're on a better track here. We'll go yep. along this way. Just got to get these right at the edge because it's quite close to the edge. Hmm. You always touch up your paint too, which I had to do with this one. Somewhere along here, one of the staples went through and came through the wood. I removed it and it left a little bit of the raw wood look showing. Hmm. So I just went over with a tiny weeny brush and touched up the stain and you won't be able to tell. Oh yes, I've gone through here as well. Ah. So you can see that, I'll show you my mistakes. Because guys, I just want you to know, keeping it real, Sharon makes mistakes. Yay. Power so. tools aren't scary if you keep your fingers out the way. <laughs> Think true. twice, press the on button once. Yes, and don't be answering live questions when you're in the middle of stippling. <laughs> I just need that into a little bit of work. Uh, maybe just bag. a bag. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so that's where I went through, and you can see, I don't know if you can see that, I've taken the staple out, but you'll see there where you can just see a little bit of the um, stain has come away where the wood's chipped away from that staple. So that's where I'll just go in later and, oops, can you see that? Go in later and touch that up. All right, I'm gonna get even closer to the edge here by the looks of it. But guys, you get the idea. Yay. Alright, who is keen to see the November stencils in action? Yes. The stencil of the month club. comments and it looks like we haven't disappeared off the planet so I'll just touch up those little bits later I have done it again I've nailed another staple through but I'll fix that later just to save time so that we don't have to sit there and watch me make mistakes all the time but <laughs> so you can see we've done two of these so far blessed thankful and so all I need now is to do my grateful one on my last signboard which I'll finish mm -hmm. that off and I'll show you the finished look uh, when I can take some photos of those later, but mm. let's um, get stuck into, so that's mm. that, and the supply list for all of those is listed, linked at the top of the description.